Hello everyone, my name is Hotu and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to install Chrome Scene Unit to your LSPDFR. Before we get started, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel just to help me out and to make me want to upload more videos. And if you guys want to join my Discord and get just a little bit more involved in my community, and maybe you want to talk to me directly, and maybe you want to suggest me some video ideas for me to do in the future, and maybe you just need some help with LSPDFR in general that maybe I can't reply to in a comment for. Make sure you join my Discord. There's gonna there's a great help team there at the moment. And maybe if you guys want to help yourself, then you can join my Discord as well. There's a short little application that you guys have to do. It's very easy, very simple. You just do that and you're straight away in the help team as long as you meet the requirements. And trust me, the requirements aren't that difficult. So if you guys are looking to join an active community for Discord, then make sure you join my Discord down in the description below. And make sure you can consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel for many more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and now we'll carry on with the video. So as always, the first thing you guys want to do is hit the first download link in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the LSPDF file website and straight to the Crime Scene Unit page. If you guys don't know what the Crime Scene Unit, Crime Scene Unit mod is, if you're just coming from notifications or Reddit or wherever you're coming from, Discord maybe, no clue wherever most people come from. A lot of people come from Google, from searching out the LSPDF file website and things like that. So wherever you're coming from, if you don't know what this is, as you guys can probably tell by the name, Crime Scene Unit. It's basically a mod which will sort out your crime scenes to make them look 10 times more realistic and add just that little bit of extra realism to your LSPDF file. So what you guys are going to want to do, first of all, is come down here and click download this file. Agree and download. Make sure you're installing the latest version available to you. Click download on the latest version. Let that install as always. Open it on up when it's finished installing. Double click on Crime Scene Unit. Then Grand Theft Auto 5 and Plugins is what we're going to be dragging into your GTA 5 folder. So to find where we're going to be dragging into GTA 5 folder, that's going to be in your File Explorer, Windows C, Program Files 86, Steam and Steam Apps and Common. Choose the GTA 5 folder you want to mod. Each one of your copies, doesn't matter which one it is, obviously. Obviously, as long as it is the one with your LSPDFR in it. So double click on that, and then make sure you have a blank little space here where you can do this without highlighting any folder. If so, if you can't, then just drag and expand this box a little bit wider so you can drag and drop this in. So when you are drag and dropping it in, as I just said, make sure no folder or file has been highlighted. So when you drag and drop it in, it has not been sucked into a folder and completely ruining the game. And you're going to have to go through and delete it all. So be careful as you're doing this and drag and drop it without any folder or file being highlighted, just like this. And there you guys go. You guys successfully installed it to your GTA 5. For you guys, you are not going to have this little pop-up saying to replace the files. I've already installed this mod and for the sake of this video, I'm doing it again, just to show you guys what to do. So now if you go into plugins and LSPDFR, you guys will be able to see that Crime Scene Unit is successfully installed in your GTA 5. And if you're not sure what the menu, oh my god, excuse me, what the menu key is, that's going to be F5. If you press F5, it'll bring the menu up straight into your GTA 5. If that conflicts with anything, you can double click on the configuration settings. You can delete this F5 and change it to whatever key you want. So there you guys go. I hope you guys found this video useful. If so, make sure you comment down below how you found it useful. You could even comment down below how you didn't find it useful. Any little bit of feedback helps me. Like the video if you found it useful. Dislike it if you found it if you didn't find it useful. Literally, as I just said, any bit of feedback will help me in the long term. So I can see what I'm doing wrong and I can see what I'm doing right. And thank you guys so much for the continued support over the past few days. We are gaining subscribers rapidly past 300. We're now on like 328, which is absolutely insane, and I cannot believe the support we've been having. And thank you guys so much for that, and I literally could not imagine when I started this channel we'd be at 300 subscribers plus, which is literally mind-boggling to me. So thank you guys so much for the continued support. If you guys want to join my Discord that I mentioned at the start of the video, then make sure you go down in the description below and click the first list link under my Discord. And that will bring you guys straight to my Discord, and you can just, it's a place where you can basically just chill. Chat to some people about GTA 5 and life in general. It's not just a GTA 5 server or LSPDFR. You can also ask for some help with your LSPDFR if you guys are a little bit stuck. Instead of going to the comment section below. Because I cannot get back to everyone in the comment section below anymore. As I am busy with other stuff. I'm making videos. I'm managing my Discord server. And I'm in quite a other few Discord servers which I am admin in. So I haven't got enough time to reply to every single comment. 
and generally I will just link you my Discord server as an answer to your issue. So if you guys also want to support me just a little bit further, you can check out my Patreon down in the description below. It's just a monthly fee where you can also fee, I don't even, it's not really a fee, is it? It's just a monthly charge. You can support me a little bit further and give me some money that I can put straight back into the channel. Nothing, no money, none of that money will be going straight back anywhere. Nothing into me, it's all going straight back into the channel for a 5M server and things like that for the channel and like merchandise for you guys. And it'll go straight back into better equipment to record some videos. Also, you will get special benefits such as social media shout outs, your name at the end of video, and a special role in my Discord server. So, if you guys do want to check that out, make sure you click it in the link down in the description below. You don't have to do it, but it's just a choice if you guys want to do, if you guys do want to support me just a little bit further and you have a little bit of money on the side to spare. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR tutorial video. <laughs>